everyone, and welcome back to another episode, episode 21, I believe, of the Satisfactory Playthrough series. Hope you guys are having an amazing day, as this guy's trying to sneak onto my property over here. Unbelievable, look at that. Didn't even take his shoes off, he's getting footprints all over. Ugh. He's Whoa! Holy moly, that thing is fast. Uh, I've never shot one of those before. I did not think he was going to be hurt so much by it. I promise we don't abuse animals on this channel. I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and get on to this episode. In the last episode, we set up a Mach 2 miner on a new coal mine way out there. We also set up a truck station, our first truck station ever. And we have a tractor out there ready to transport coal. That's going to feed into our steel factory, which we have not set up yet, but I'm planning to do out in that open area after we clear some foliage. And uh, there's also an iron mine out there really close to the coal mine that will be delivering iron to that factory as well. So my plan is to have kind of like an overflow conveyor belt that hooks into this coal line here so that if ever we run out of coal with these six coal generators or you know when we eventually expand this because we are going to need more power then we can tap into the extra coal from the mine over there so let's go ahead and jump right into this episode we're gonna run our butts over to actually what we want to do is first Let's clear our list. How do you clear the list? Here we go. Clear the list. And what we want to do is set up another truck station. And it looks like we have everything to do that. This baby is going to need to be hooked up to power. Um, so let's see, actually if it, I don't even know if this thing needs to be fed fuel, you know, if, if the trucks are just refueling at the coal mine over there, which I already set up, I don't think they need extra fuel here. We are going to want this coal line to feed in any excess coal to our generators over here. So I feel like. We should set it up somewhere here. The coal, where's the coal gonna come from? No, it's not, it's just a pickup station. So it doesn't need any inputs actually. It only, we're only using the output and the output is gonna be split. So yeah, let's do, let's do this right here. And then back here, we'll have the steel factory. Yeah, that works. Okay. Let's tap into the power here. Oh, okay. So here's where you set the truck station to either be a load station or unload station. This is going to be an unload station. So that's hooked up now. Let's go over to our truck. We need to show it how to path and we might want to build an easier path for it. So when it comes down here, we could probably build a ramp down so that it doesn't have to go around this area because that would be too complicated. So let's build a direct path here. Let's start with a ramp. Just want to make sure I'm pointing it kind of straight. I think this is such a cool concept by the way. You know, this idea of transporting by truck and how you can program it. That's so awesome. I think the creators of this game really did a, a great job. We may want to move this power line just so that it's a little less in the way. Oh, yeah. Got it. 
We'll pull it over here. Okay. There we go. I think we can cut this rock. No, we can't. We don't have biofuel. Do we? No, we don't. Note to self. Load up on biofuel. And we're being attacked. No, we're not. Yes, we are. Ah! Ooh, slug. It's got a we got a beautiful pink tint, purple tint here from the sunset. It's a uh, very nice. Let's see if this truck is full. How do I just? What? Why is it not filling? Not recording. First of all, how do I make it fill? No. No. I'm just trying to figure out how to transfer it. I'm so confused. How do you transfer all this to the vehicle? Does it only do it when it's full or? Okay, well, let's see. So if we hit V, we're gonna start recording. No! How do you stop recording? You fucked up. Okay, let's get let's get back up on the hill. Yeah, if we had our chainsaw we could clear that tree. But unfortunately, we did not bring biofuel. Solid biofuel that is. Let's try this again. Oh, it's loading. Okay, that's more like it. Holy moly! It just unloaded everything. Choose record action. Okay. Start record. I'm try this again. Maybe go around the tree this time. Alright, it's a straight shot. Don't mess this up. I think we're going to have to make this path twice as wide. This is so precarious. Holy shit. This is actually dangerous. Move, bird. I think I just ran over that bird. No! Went too far. Wait, it figures out its own return path? Where's it going? What the heck is this thing doing? Where are you going? Dude! <laughs> what is happening right now? Wh I'm so confused. We're gonna have to redo that. Okay, it did deliver all the coal. That's fantastic. We're gonna have to widen this path. Because that was so sketchy. We're gonna have to figure out what the hell is going on with this.
truck. Is it because I didn't program like the return path? That might be it. Yeah, let's widen this path first of all. Oh, and we might die in the process. Oh, quickly. Okay, that's a bit better. A little less sketch. Water extractor. Oh, wait, yeah, that's my beacon. I was like, is it down? Okay, let's figure out what the fuck is going on with this truck. It's just burning all its fuel for no reason. All right. Autopilot active? Nah. Okay, what if we put it here? What is it gonna do? Okay, because we dropped it off on that part of the path. Comes through. Where is it trying to go, though? I'm truly confused. Where do you want to go, bud? Are you going back? But you're what? That's not the path. Stop. Okay, maybe we need to record like the full run. Like maybe we need to record the path there and back. You know. Let's try this again. Oh, this might this might hurt. We're gonna power through. Oh, come on, we can make it. Yes. Let's disable autopilot so this thing doesn't just run. We're going to clear the path and start recording. So we just picked up a load and this time we're going to do the full path. Okay, we're going to have to move that pole. Aha! I think we did need to record the full path because the arrows are still, we're still pooping these arrows behind us. All right, let's hope this works. Finish. Now do the right thing, damn it. Yes. Go, baby. Ooh, this thing's fast. Holy crap. That's way faster than running. And I think. It's pretty easy to see that one tractor is more than enough. Oh, don't run into that post. Nice. Now hopefully it comes back. We're going to have to disconnect that so that our little dude doesn't knock himself out. And we're being charged. Get off me, bro. Holy crap, we're almost dead. Where's the truck? <gasps> it made it around. It's coming back! Yes! And it went over the rock. This thing's beast mode. Look at that. Go, baby, go! 
That's amazing. Okay, this is really cool. Well, it saves us having to route all that conveyor, I guess, so. And we've got a ton of coal. Very, very cool. So, now comes the part where we hook up conveyor belts. And I guess the first thing we want to do is figure out how we're going to lay out the factory here. And then we can start, uh, yeah, we can start routing. Let's go with, uh, I think the other ones are too thick. Let's go with this thickness for now. And we'll just do it right about there. So this is going to be our new steel factory. And of course it's going to start out pretty simple. But we will add to it. <gasps> Look at that baby go! I really want to get rid of that rock. Or maybe just expand. How cool is that? Makes its drop off. And then bounces. So fast. Okay. Oh, the rock. <laughs> yeah, we're going to make it a bit easier for this guy. Can you uh, maybe move? Really cramping the space here. Hey, guy. Andale! No, you're stuck. Go the other way, you buffoon. Did that miss? Can you please turn around? You know, your species is gonna go extinct if you can't figure something so simple out. Oh, get out of the way, you bastard. Alright, whatever. We need, oh crap, we need to get the ramp built though. Wait, I wonder if that clearance is actually because of the rock. It might be because of the rock. I don't remember if you can build over rock. There's the tractor though. It's a common. Let's just see what happens here. I think it's gonna fall off sideways. Oh! The off off-roading capabilities of this thing are insane. Yes, it moved. There we go. Okay. Now it should have a pretty easy time going up and down that. Yeah, trick, yeah. Alright, how are we doing on time? 22 minutes. Got five more minutes of gameplay here. So we're gonna go get some solid biofuel so we can clear some of those trees and start laying out our steel factory. We'll just get one stack for now. We're probably gonna need more concrete, so we'll just get a couple stacks of that right now. And we're off. Let's check the power load while we're here. Ooh, look at that spike. That got up to 437, 438. So it's getting there. It's getting a little dicey out here. We did collect another power slug though. It's just one it looks like. So we can make another power shard. And... These two are not even fully overclocked. Okay, so we've de we definitely have some room. That's f that's four of them. That would be if if that 
If all four of those get overclocked, that would be enough to saturate the coal line. So that's why we're going to need a little offshoot from um, this, uh, this coal transport so that we can we can have extra if we ever need it. Okay. So we're just gonna fill in this area, get our foundation going. That's a pretty nice open area. Plenty of room for expansion, especially if we decide to do more upper levels, more floors. So far, none of the buildings have used walls either, but I did see in the... I don't know where that went. Uh, I did see in the awesome shop that you can get walls with um, windows for the conveyor belts to go in and out of, so that might be a cool look if we ever want to vamp up our feng shui. Uh, it's pretty good. I think we'll do one more line here. That's where it went. That's where it went. Okay, we've got a really nice big open base here. What we need to do is set up another truck stop, I think. I kind of wish this was more parallel. I want to rotate this thing just a bit. And then I'm going to build another one right next to it. Where are my alignment marks, yo? We're not getting any alignment marks. Oh wait, that's kind of... Maybe, yeah, we should do it on this side. It's got more space over here. Alright. Uh, let's hook that up to power. Wait a minute. No. It's running over our box. You good, dude? Still pathing correctly? Oh, that's close. That's cutting it close. What? Why can't I transfer? What the? F oh, that's weird. No! That's not what I wanted to do, you shite. Okay. Oh, uh, but we gotta do it again. Great. I can't shift click these stacks for some reason. Just gotta do it manually, I guess. And yeah, one truck is most definitely enough for a single miner. Um, we could... I, I can see this easily transporting two, like, loads from two miners. I hope I don't die. This thing better not run me over. Shall we watch it empty? Oh, it did. Wasn't much in it, huh? <laughs> like, runs into the corner every time. Wow, we have so much coal. Okay, there you go. We got the coal set up. And it is a thing of beauty. Um, we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. Let's run up to our perch. It's kind of trippy with my my clone being up there. All right, so we're going to end the episode there. We successfully set up our coal transport line, and now we have coal being automatically delivered to that truck stop right over there. We set up a second one that 
is going to be taking iron from the other iron mine we found and both of those are going to be fed into our new steel production area. So I'm really excited with that. Uh, we got a lot done this episode. I can't wait to get the steel up and running. If you did enjoy this episode, please drop a like so you can help my channel grow. To subscribe for more future content like this. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.